There's no way they'd come here. I used to run with his crew. If oh. wakes up one morning and wants to come heavy, he'll come heavy. Nah, now he won't. He goes with his gut. If there's one thing he's got, it's gut. He'd see all of Little Italy burn. To the ground. From the news desk of WLH 570, a special report on crime in our city. It had been hoped by lawmakers and the general public alike that the end of prohibition would cut off the mob's air supply. But two years since the repeal of the 18th Amendment, it seems to have merely added fuel to the conflagration of crime that engulfs the country. It would appear that removing the conditions that created a new type of virulent gangsterism is not going to remove the problem. The criminal empires that amassed such wealth and power in the last decade and... Yeah, that's got to be Sergio's car. How am I going to get through to it? Going somewhere? Don't come back. You lost? Lost?
you? Yeah, I'll be home before supper. Hey, you wanna go dancing this weekend? Maybe drop the kid off at your pop's place. Yeah, I'm still here. Oh, Christ. Hey! Stop! No, no, no. Tara, you okay? Yeah, this is a car bomb. Things went south. We could draw about it later. Right now, we gotta get that bastard. Let's go. What the hell? We got a message from Mr. Salieri. No! Kill these clowns! here.
get it! It's doing kill that motherfucker. Get every guy we got down here now. He's coming this way. We're out of here. Shit. I've got to reload. I'm gonna beat that. I'll get him off my ass. He's killed. Shit. Found him.
Coming this way!
a fucking train? Just wink me, asshole! You think you're the guy who's gonna kill me? <laughs> what did I tell you? No one. Sergio, it was chaos for weeks. Our guys against their guys, and Morello gone to ground. But a boss can't stay hidden forever. For a Don to be feared, he's gotta be seen. Finally, word came through that he was gonna break cover. Morello wants to thumb his nose at us. Taking a show like there's not a war on, we'll meet him in the streets. We do him like this. We wait outside the theater till the end of the show. All those rich assholes will start coming out. That's when we hit Morella and his gorillas in a crowd before they see us coming. The theater's going to be packed, and not just with seps. There's a good chance the mayor, maybe even the chief, might be there too. That's the goddamn point, Tom. We kill Morella in public in front of the city's creme de la creme. Then they'll all know who's in charge. And it doesn't matter if you have a badge or a gavel or a fat wad of cash in your pocket. If you cross Salgari and his boys, you're dead. Okay, boss. We'll get it done. You take the machine guns. Make sure you don't draw attention to yourselves hanging around outside the theater. You keep the choppers hidden and 
till you spot Morello. And then you light him up. I want it to look like that white suit is covered in roses. You got it. Sure, boss. This is it. We're finally doing this. Keep your head. We gotta get to the theater before the show's over. Tom, you're driving. We got the word, boys. Morello dies tonight. Tonight? Shit. Good luck, guys. Put your foot down, Tom. Can't believe after all these years we're finally going after Morello. Not his crew, not his family. Finally putting him in the ground. We're putting a lot of history to rest. What happens when he's gone? We'll be kings. Nah, I mean, what happens with the Don? You think he'll be all tore up? I think he'll start wearing a nice white suit. You boys doing all right? Yeah, just sweating bullets. You look how I feel. Nearly there. Let's keep it together. When we see him, go for Morello. No one else. Once he's down, his guys will panic. We're actually doing this. He's been up against the boss for what, 10 years? More. You'd think that white suit would make him an easier target. Don't worry. 
This is gonna be a squeeze. Morello's gotten himself a good driver, but he doesn't match you, Tom. Guys, wait. Good! We need to clean house! He's gotta die! This guy's gotta die! Okay, but let's keep us three off your list. They only just fixed up the airport since the last time. He's got muscle waiting. I see him!
front. Get the best shot out of all of us. Come on! He's getting away! Get us into the air! We don't have the speed! what's happening. We follow it. We see where it lands. We rush in. All guns blazing and we finish. Ooh. Wow. You drive like this in your old job. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. Okay, here's what's happening. We follow it. We see where it lands. We rush in. All guns blazing and we finish them off. No way that bird's staying in the sky. That thing's not gonna land. It's gonna crash. It look uh, aeronautic to you. But thank Christ we got you in the car, Professor. Morello's not gonna walk away from a plane crash. That's a maybe, but he ain't dead till we've seen him dead. Out of all of us, you two should know that by now. Where's he trying to take it? Maybe out near the racetrack. More chance of landing it safe outside the city. Hell out, maybe, but it's not gonna be safe. Wherever he comes down, we'll be there soon after. Is it gonna go? Yep. Yeah. It's going. But we don't have time to relax. We gotta be sure he's dead before the cops show. No one's gonna survive that! Hell of a lot of smoke. I can't believe we did this. I know. Don't seem real. Stay alert with your guns close. We've come too far to get lazy at the end. We don't have love. Every cop in the city is gonna be on his way. We get out, we check the wreckage, we leave. Got it? Sure we do. Thank <laughs> you. 
Bastard's daddy doesn't even know it yet. He knows it now. Yeah, pal. That'll do it. Come on. Let's make tracks. See you on the other side, Marku. See you on the other side, Marku. You fucking phantom. I've been chasing you for three goddamn years. You do life for this, Tom. Maybe you in the chair. You don't want the guy who was punching tickets. You want the guy who was handing them out. So that's what this has been all about, huh? You offering up Salieri. The Don's books. The ones Frank stole. I have them. They're enough to put Salieri away forever, and they're yours. Assuming we have a deal. My family for the Don. You recognize anyone? Look again. Old man, that's Don Papone, two younger lads of Morello and Salieri. Yeah. Okay, I see it. That must be what? 1920? April. Morello's wedding. Salieri was the best man. Jesus. They're just kids. Not already soldiers in Papone's mob. So what happened? How did they go from being best mates to Morello on a slab? I don't know. I didn't even know they were friends. <laughs> but you don't know could fill up the fucking Chrysler building. In 22, Papone drowns up at the lake. In order to keep things running smoothly, Salieri and Morello agreed to divvy up the city. Yeah, I heard the story, so what? Well, their friendship should have made the deal work, but... Didn't make a lick of difference. After Morello, Salieri was beaming, thinking we ran the whole damn town. Me, I was just happy the war was over. We 
But then I got to thinking about something. What good? It was all of Morello's money if it couldn't protect him from a regular Joe like me. Cabby, for Christ's sake. It only got him one thing. A great big bullseye in his fucking forehead. And that thought, it just kept turning round and round in my head until one day, I'm looking in a mirror. I start seeing a bullseye too. Right here. Dry your tears in the water hundreds, do you? I wasn't about to give up the good life, I know that. I just told myself that I was smarter than Morello. That I wouldn't turn around one day and find Polly or Sam pointing a gun at my head. The thing is, you don't see it. When you're out on the street, scrapping, fighting for your life, then the guy next to you isn't just your partner, he's your brother. You'd stick a knife in someone for your brother, right? But at night, you lie awake, wondering what he and Adam were whispering about behind the bar. Wondering if your best friend is hungry enough to betray you. Any trouble? No bus, no trouble at all. Got something else for me? All these feels a little light. There's a little extra in mind to cover the difference. You ever go swimming, Tom? Been to the shore a few times, sure. I knew a couple of guys once. Took some dames out to the lake. Had a few beers, a few laughs. Then one of them decides to go in the water. Gets to the center of the lake and realizes he's running out of steam. Can't make it back in. He starts shouting for help. Now the other guy, he's a strong swimmer. He goes out in the lake to drag his buddy back to shore. Problem is, the first guy, the one too stupid to know when the water's too deep for him, he panics. Grabs his friend by the neck and they both go under and don't come up again. Paulie's your friend, and I know you're loyal to him, and I respect that. But don't you ever pay his tab again. Okay, boss. Good. Now, we gotta talk about this Turnbull. The guy running for governor? The same. He's been flapping his gums a lot about cracking down on our businesses. <laughs> That's rich. He spent more on whores than Paulie and Sam combined. <laughs> you want me to pay him a visit? Maybe put him on a take? No. You can't trust a hypocrite, Tom. We need to end his campaign aspirations and in a way that keeps anyone from stepping up to the same platform. Vinny, have a plan then? Of course. Turnbull's holding a rally near Central Island. The spot he picked is hard to reach and out in the open. Should have a beautiful view of the rally from the tower of the old prison. From there, you'll give Turnbull a third eye. Okay. I'll go see Vinny about the gun. But don't forget, you only got one shot. You miss, and his crew will usher him out of there quick. I'm the best shooter you got. Otherwise, you'll be talking to someone else. Then get it done. Hey, handsome. <laughs> Ladies? You're wasted on that wife of yours. You know that? Uh, he'll never look our way. He's a good boy. Hey, Tommy. Boss says you got something for me. Yeah, I got a shipment in from a guy at Fort Stanmore. 
Cardinal Salieri wants this to run like clockwork, so no heat to the guy's head bursts. I hit little Tony, stash one of these where you need it. So, up high in the old prison? Yeah. Family's got a lot of history in that place. Hoods who live there now ain't so classy. So watch yourself. Little Tony locked the rifle up tight in a room with a view. Up on the top floor. Sick of that politician shit in the papers, Tommy. We own this town now. Right between the eyes, huh? Find a way inside and make for the guard tower. The top deck is locked. That's what the key's for. Good luck with who's ever at the doorstep you're gonna piss on today, Tom. <laughs> our state finds itself in has compelled him to step into the breach once more. And we could have no finer champion in the governor's mansion than Hank Turnbull. He'll bring all his experience to bear on the criminals that have made our streets their Good luck with who's ever at the doorstep you're gonna piss on today, Tom. <laughs> has been serving the people of Lost Heaven for more than 65 years. We care for this city and for each and every customer that comes through our door. We want the best for them and their families, and that's why this message is a little different. In recent years, our city has fallen prey to criminal elements, and only one man has shown that he has the strength and the moral fortitude required to once again allow the people to walk the streets without fear, with hope in their hearts. That man is Hank Turnbull. Mr. Turnbull stepped away from political life after 20 years as congressman of the 27th district. The appalling situation our state finds it...
Hey, fella, come over. You with Tony? Yeah. Your friend said you wanted the guard tower. Bade me to mark the way with this sign. Folks go through the sewer. Only way in. Then just keep heading up. Hey, get out here! We ain't going nowhere. Turn around! Someone's coming! No. Oh, you ain't one of us. I'm, I'm warning you, mister! Have you seen my rat? Why can't you people just leave us be? This is our home. Why can't you people understand that? Is that you, cop? You're locked up tight, not getting in. <gasps> Someone's coming through. the guard tower. It's uh, up through the main cell block. Case locked most of the time. Keep the feds out. Thanks. Be careful here, stranger. We're protective of our own. David? David, where are you? <laughs> you bring trouble. Ugh! <sighs> 
I thought there'd be more of you to evict us. Am I close to the guard tower? Real close. Elevator's out, but you can take the stairs. been out.
you see? The police! It's the police!
crossers on Central Island. Suspect has been lost. Keep patrolling. <laughs>
Did you hear about this Turnbull? Heard he was crooked as the day is long. It says in the paper he's going to be remembered for fighting to pass the 19th Amendment. Put his whole career on the line for it. Which one was that again? Woman suffrage, you idiot. He gave me the right to vote, Tom. Gave it to his wife and six daughters, too. Nobody's just one thing, are they? Guess not. I gotta go to work. <sighs> Tom, don't do nothing you don't want to be remembered for, you hear me? Probably too late for that. <laughs> 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 